The United Nations International Day of Families is observed globally on May 15th as a way to raise awareness on the different kinds of struggles that may impact the basic family structure anywhere in the world and to reflect on the role families play in development. The theme for this year is Families New Technologies. Civil society organizations are advocating for increased investment in the strengthening and unification of families as a way to record greater developmental outcomes. As the world contend with some economic, social and political challenges, civil society actors are seeking greater consideration to the role of family in development and peaceful coexistence in the society. Joining me to discuss is Ayo Deji Adelopo, the Deputy Country Director of SOS Children's Villages, an international non-governmental family and child focused organization that provides direct services for children at risk of losing parental care and those who have lost parental care. Good afternoon, you're welcome to the news. Good afternoon, thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. In your opinion, what are the major threats the family system in Nigeria is confronted with today which impacts on national development. Thank you very much. Uh, the challenges that face families uh, in Nigeria today uh, are quite enormous. And uh, they range from you know, socioeconomic factors and um, other social factors include disasters you know, and um, uh, violence and escalating uh, uh, violence such as uh, wars, insurgencies, and conflicts all around the country. Talking about uh, socioeconomic factors, you recall that in the last uh, couple of months or years in the country, we've been experiencing harsh economic conditions, including high inflation and uh, unemployment. Now, these have a way of impacting on the abilities of families to be able to provide for themselves. And when families are not able to provide for themselves, you know, it will also affect, you know, uh, their survival and their development. What happens thereafter is that children are separated from their families when their families are not able to consistently provide for them. So on the economic front, you see that our country currently, the challenges we are facing uh, is a threat to families and ultimately to children. On the other front, like I mentioned, um, you know, last year there was a um, a huge disaster uh, as a result of the flood that we had in the country that affected about 30 states in the country. And that was a major, you know, event that separated families, that brought about, you know, untold hardship on families. And these are also part of the things that families are confronting. We at SOS Children's Villages, uh, what we do is to continue to provide enabling environment for uh, for children to grow, uh, which essentially is talking about families. Uh, we believe that children should be able to grow in their own families and that uh, where this is not possible for certain reasons, uh, a very suitable option uh, should be made available. I believe you can hear me. Development of children. All right. Sorry, I don't want to cut you on this, but we need to you know, take it a bit um, faster because of the news. Let me just go on the second question. Concerning the theme of this year's International Day of Family, is uh, families and new technology. In your opinion, what is the place of technology in the strengthening of families for national development? Thank you very much. You see, COVID-19 has changed a whole lot of things. And uh, it has brought about a change in the way education, which is very vital for the development of children and also in social interaction. So it's very important that um, um, when we're talking about families and technology, it's very important that families have access to technology, uh, particularly vulnerable families, so that they can take advantage of the opportunities that are there for education of children. The only one of the ways, sustainable ways we can change uh, the plight of children is by giving them quality education, which is one of their rights. So talking about uh, technology and families, uh, we need to be able to grant access to these uh, digital tools, as well as the skills they need to use them, even the caregivers themselves. So all stakeholders must invest 
in ensuring that families have access to technology, which in turn will help development of families and children. Okay. Um, lastly, I just want to want you to expand on um, what the National Assembly said last year. When the National Assembly, they began a process for the review of the Child, the Child Rights Act 2003. And some are of the opinion that the law is limited to issues relating to issues relating to family system. Um, what's your take on this? Thank you very much. Uh, it's, let's start by saying it's a good thing that the House of Assembly, uh, uh, the legislature, is looking at reviewing the Child Rights Act, which is very old. So I think we should start by commending that effort. However, uh, this is a call uh, that the uh, review should be holistic. Uh, we should look at all matters. The Child Rights Act is that is a legal tool uh, at the Federation that looks at matters that relate to children. And one area that also needs to be looked at uh, critically is um, the issue of alternative care, uh, which uh, was not um, effectively dealt with in the original document. So this is a call to government to also look at including uh, alternative care matters uh, which looks at vulnerable children who are not able to live with their family. How can they better be cared for in other arrangements? Uh, there is need to uh, deal with the issue of institutionalization, uh, which has been shown not to be the best for children. So there is a call uh, on the government uh, to please make this review holistic. This is an opportunity we have to do something for the children. So we are calling on them to uh, do more than just changing a few things, but looking at the holistic uh, review of the document for the uh, betterment of uh, the Nigerian child. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Ayo. Uh, we are going to invite you in a subsequent bulletin to ask you more questions concerning the family units because it is a very wide unit. Thank you for joining us.